Hi, my name is Dwight Koblenz. I'm a heating, ventilation, and air conditioning instructor at Kalamazoo Valley Community College. And I would like to talk to you about recovery machines. As an HVAC instructor, I have to be familiar with many different brands and types of tools used in the HVAC work. When it comes to portable recovery machines used for the HVAC service, I prefer the Robinair RG3 and RG6, portable recovery machines. Robinair has been an industry leader in refrigerant recovery for 60 years. As you know, in the field, all jobs are different. From the rooftop to the marine HVAC system, these machines are easy to use and ideal for anything from a residential job to a large commercial rooftop or walk-in freezer system. The RG3 and RG6 portable refrigerant recovery machines set the new standard in refrigerant recovery. Capable of recovering liquid and vapor refrigerant, the RG3 and RG6 machines are engineered to withstand the punishment of daily use, even under extreme conditions. Let's take a look at some of the features of these two machines. They're pretty compact and lightweight. The RG3 has a 40% smaller footprint than competitive models. Easy to carry, the RG3 weighs in at 18 pounds, the RG6 at 27. Uh, they both have oilless compressors, capable of recovering both liquid and vapor. Both machines handle almost all refrigerants, works with the all common CFC, HCFC, HFC refrigerants, including R410A. The RG6 will also handle R134A and R407C. The RG3 has a high efficiency cross flow design layout of the fan and condenser. It's maximized for shorter cycle times. The main difference between these two machines is that the RG6 has a twin cylinder design with an oversized condenser. The fan is positioned for maximum efficiency. This is a one two punch that provides one of the fastest recovery rates in the industry. The RG6 also has a three quarter horse direct drive compressor. The RG3 has an Third horse, single cylinder, oilless compressor. Both machines have a high pressure safety shutoff switch. Uh, they'll shut down when the machine, when the pressure rises over 550 PSI. Easy to operate, rugged case, easy to read gauges, comfortable handle, simple two valve control, the IE3 connector and a power cord. I have connected the manifold to the system with the blue low side and red high side hoses. I've also connected the yellow hose to the RG6 recovery machine. Uh, we've installed a liquid line filter dryer uh, in series with that circuit and also we connected to the recovery machine coming out of the RG6. Also I have a tank of 410A uh, once we're done that we can uh, fill the system back up. Recovery equipment has evolved uh, from very complex, heavy, slow, to very user-friendly, light, and fast. When selecting what equipment to use, there are some important things to look for and consider when you purchase your next recovery machine. Make sure the condenser is large enough, which helps keep the refrigerant at lower temp speeding recovery. The RG6 is one of the largest condensing coils in the industry. To go along with the largest condenser, the RG6 fan is properly positioned to provide proper airflow. We designed the RG6 this way. This helps keep the compressor cool, will help the condensing in high temperature conditions. Smaller and lighter makes it more portable. The Robin Air recovery machines are some of the lightest available. When comparing performance numbers of various products, remember that vapor recovery is approximately 75 to 80 percent of the recovery process. It's very important to use a recovery machine with a high vapor recovery rate. Liquid recovery is 20 to 25 percent of the recovery process. A refrigerant unit with the ability to recover liquid will speed this first initial liquid part of the recovery process. Our RG6 machine is one of the fastest ones out there. The RG6 does include a purge feature. This will allow to use multiple refrigerant application and eliminate cross-contamination. We have a one-year warranty with an over-the-counter exchange. You don't usually get that second part. The RG6 is completely field serviceable and repair parts are readily available. This avoids downtime. When performing the recovery, some key tips will help. 
Always use the shortest hose possible when using 3 8 Hose will greatly increase your recovery rate. Remove valve cores from systems when possible. Robin Air has some specialty valve core removing tools. Use liquid recovery when possible. Safety is always a concern when recovering the refrigerant. Always wear safety glasses and gloves to keep your eyes, prevent your skin from being burned from liquid refrigerant. When recovering refrigerant, always use a scale to prevent overfilling of the recovery cylinder. Overfilling the recovery tank can cause it to severely damage equipment, a potentially serious situation for anyone in the area. You don't want to fill over 80%. The RG6 allows for an optional 80% tank overfill sensor. This is a nice safety feature. Always remember to use a filter dryer or particulate filter in line with your refrigerant recovery unit. It's always important to use an acid core dryer when recovering from a burned out system. Acid in particular matter will cause damage to your refrigerant recovery machine. If you use the appropriate filter on every job, your recovery equipment should give you many years of trouble fee service. There you have it. It's a safe, portable, quick process to the HVAC field service. I feel the Robin Air RG3, RG6 are the best bang for the buck in the HVAC work. For more information about any of these HVAC products, call or click on robinair.com and then go to the HVACR tab.